Hello everyone, welcome to part 182 of Ecom series in Laravel 6. And in this video, we will continue working on wish list one last time. Uh, only the delete functionality is left in wish list. Okay, uh, so let's log in. First of all, we will log in. Uh, okay, so you can see that last time we have uh, done that add to card functionality. Uh, like if there is any product in your wish list, you can simply uh, add this product into your card and along with this one there is delete functionality must be there in wish list as well because you want to delete uh, the product from wish list if in case you don't require that product anymore okay so uh, that delete functionality we are going to do in this video okay so rest of the things are all done you can implement at your end uh, and try wish list feature uh, so uh, let's work on lead functionality in this video okay so first of all uh, we are going to modify the link of this uh, delete uh, icon uh, in uh, wish list split file okay so let's uh, let's open wish list split file first of all we will open wish list split file so i am going to open wish list split file in this file i am going to uh, add the link for lead see we have already added uh, the earlier link was the card link we are going to modify it uh, with the wishlist link wishlist delete product is fine uh, wishlist id okay wishlist id will go okay this one is fine now we are we will create the route for this link okay so i am going to make the route same like we have created the uh, route for uh, uh, removing the product from the card okay so uh, same kind of route we are going to make it here as well and we will uh, make this route uh, i'm going to check where we have um, entered that wish list along with that okay this one is the wish list page and here i will add the route it product wish list. okay so I'm going to add here route. Uh, we are going to add get route for wish list or delete functionality. Wish list or the delete product. Okay. So the ID will come, uh, wish list product ID will come here like this and after that press controller add the head of delete wish list product okay like this so this is the route and now we are going to make the uh, delete wish list product function in products controller uh, okay same like uh, we have added uh, the delete card uh, item function earlier uh, in earlier videos the public function delete wishlist product okay and we are passing dollar id like this and here i am going to delete the product from wishlist so db table will come here db table wish list like this okay uh, db table wish list uh, we are id is equal to dollar id and delete like this okay so after that return redirect back oh, sorry redirect. here message will come flash message success this uh, product has been has been created from 
wish list okay this one and uh, now we are going to check uh, whether it will work or not i am going to delete the product from the wish list okay and let's see uh, i'm going to click on delete and see the error message has come uh lead product wish list lead product uh, one two uh, i'm going to see why this error message is coming uh, to refresh once again and here Uh, we are going to check that why uh, it happening three fish list street product that is fine uh, wish list street product and after that the wish list product id uh, but it is showing as uh, though we have uh, this route here front login that is fine wishlist lead product id check once again wishlist lead product that seems to be fine there is no issue wishlist then id plus controller then lead wishlist product i think it must work but we are going to check why the issue is coming four not found error is coming actually uh, it is not able to find this one officially three product sure that uh, we are adding uh, we are running this sample 6 project or not okay so let me make one more change here uh, I can do like this I will add some test here to check whether uh, this is the uh, same file and you can see uh, this is the same file delete is coming here okay so the file is same but uh, why the issue is coming might be some minor issue that i unable to uh, find wish list lead product and wish list lead product okay get route uh, it must work at route and nothing else we need to do in this uh, uh, if it is coming here then it must go there as well okay so why this issue is coming i'm going to make one more like this sorry for that what's happening uh, one more i'm going to put it here i'm going to make some changes I want to see that whether it will work or not click on delete oh now it is coming which is lead product how oh, how oh, now it is coming fine I think might be a uh, file is not saved I don't know but uh, now it is working fine okay so I think might be the file has not saved earlier so that's why uh, such issue is coming and now the issue is not coming okay so now we can now uh, continue uh, we can remove this one and continue testing this one and i'm going to uh, i'm going to go back okay we'll try again 
and now i'm going to click on delete okay so i am going to click on delete and you can see the product has been deleted from wish list now it is working fine the product has actually has been deleted from the wish list okay so you can do one thing you can make uh, one alert checkbox uh, some sorry alert uh, uh, you can give like this you uh, are you sure to delete this product uh, that kind of thing like we have done in the earlier videos in ecom series uh, okay you can uh, add sweet alert okay uh, that we have done in the earlier videos you can see one of those videos uh, or you can go uh, to my uh, stack developers channel and can simply search sweet alert okay uh, then you will able to see that how to uh, add the sweet alert for delete functionality okay because uh, sometimes the user delete the product by mistake so it is always good practice to add the alert okay so now uh, i'm going to add two of the products and we'll see that uh, wishlist functionality is working fine or not first uh, because i want to add uh, some different products and see one product has been added i will add one more i can add this one also there is no product available i'm going to add this one okay now i'm go going to wish list you can see that we have added the two products okay so i want to see like if i'm going to delete this product then only this product will get deleted not on not this one so i need to make sure that there is no issue at all so i'm going to delete this one and you can see that product has been deleted actually product that has been deleted and now this one we're going to delete okay this one also has been deleted okay uh, so wish list functionality is working fine and uh, now this one is all over wish list functionality is all over and uh, in next video we are going to do uh, something new uh, for our ecom series there are still a few features are left and i'm going to review that what features uh, are left in our ecom series uh, that uh, we can uh, do now in next video okay i don't have i think that list i don't have right now okay i will uh, share that list also of ecom series uh, uh, features that we want to do okay so uh, one of the thing we will surely do in next video so stay tuned for that uh, and rest if you have any queries you can surely contact me in video description okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye